Our next guest, everybody, is an up-and-coming researcher and inventor whose goal is to save lives worldwide, one bar of soap at a time. 3M just named him America's top young scientist. That's amazing. Let's welcome 14 year old Heyman, everybody. What's up, Heyman? Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, I mean, were you always into science? Yeah, you know, I, I just love science. Since bef from before I can remember, I've just been mixing random household chemicals together, you know. And, and that had to be fun for yeah. mom. Um, my parents were always worried I'd blow the house up, and it hasn't <laughs> happened yet. But here we go. You know, <laughs> but you know, um, of course, I think that that initial curiosity really did stem into my love for science now and starting to do independent research projects, sign up for science fairs and all of that. And I think yeah. it's been a journey. I was always the kid that was jealous of kids like you because I wasn't good at science. So I think it's so cool. Like, just so you know, a lot of Thank kids you. are probably looking up to you like I was. It's Thank amazing you. how your brain works and gets it. So, like, tell us about the competition and how soap is involved. Sure. So. The 3M Young Scientist Challenge is pretty much this competition where people mm. from grades five through eight can apply and pitch their two minute video about an idea they think can change the world. Yeah. And you know, for me, that was this product called SCTS or Skin Cancer Treating Soap. And at first, of course, it was all just an idea, but I pitched it, sent a two minute video over and I was announced as one of the 10 national finalists, which was just so great to That's see. That's kind of already winning. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was so, that was more than anything, that was what, it was like, what? You know, my ideas can actually be heard and I can actually make an impact on this world one way or another. Absolutely. And, and then from there, I had to go to Minnesota and actually compete against the nine other finalists. And that was where uh, I gave my presentation to the judges live and I was announced as America's top young scientist. Oh my God, so you won. That's incredible. <laughs> so, like, why, why soap and brain? Like, what's in it? Like, how is it, yeah. how is it helpful or beneficial? Yeah, so um, the bar of soap is pretty much a compound-based bar of soap, and it's charged with different cancer-fighting agents. The main one is this drug that has recently been discovered can actually help fight against different types of skin cancers. Uh, the way that it looks is this pretty dark white, and it has this bumpy texture to it, which wasn't intentional, but inadvertently actually helps exfoliate yeah, the skin and that, yeah. opens up the pores before the the skin cancer fighting agent really starts to attack. And yeah. alongside the actual drug, there's also this uh, side component, which is this lipid-based nanoparticle. And it sounds complicated, but... No, nanoparticles. Know, <laughs> I, I talk about them all the time. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so the big question... Cover them a lot. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the big question is, like, it's soap. How, how is it going to stay once we wash it away? And that was yeah. my question as well. But, you know, the way that it works is the lipid-based nanoparticle keeps all of the medicinal components on the skin at a very molecular level, but then all of the soaps and suds get washed away. And so that's how that works as well. Chemistry is so cool. Yeah, it, it really I'm is. I'm not good at it, but you are. That's awesome. So how did you feel when you won? It was, it was surreal. It was an incredible feeling just... If you work hard enough, really anything is possible. But before that, I, yeah. I, I never even thought I'd get to the level that I did, and it, it really is so great to see. And it inspires and motivates me to continue to working towards my goals, uh, alongside being named America's top young scientist, which is just so crazy on its own. Uh, yeah. There was a twenty-five thousand dollar cash prize which came with that, and that was so. Hey, great. what are you gonna do with it? Yeah. You know, that's a lot of money. That, that is a lot yeah. of money, and I'll just have to give the boring answer of saving most of it for college, and then. <laughs> that's not a boring answer. That's a smart answer. Yeah, and then. Uh, I did hear you say most of it, so there must be a little fun in there. Oh, I hate to uh, break it to you, but it's also going to just be used towards the further development of the that's soap fun. itself. I mean. No, yeah. because your goal is to get it to market, of right? Of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fun as hell, man. Yeah. Oh, I can't say that. You're a kid. Sorry. I mean, it was, sorry. No, that's so cool. That's yeah. so fun. Yeah. What inspired this idea? I heard it had to do with Ethiopia and like farming. Is oh, that yeah. is that what happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I actually grew up, I was born and raised in Ethiopia and I moved to the United States when I was four years old. And looking back, I remember seeing so many people working really long hours under the hot sun. And of course, I didn't think much of it as a four-year-old, but now that I've learned about how big of an issue this really is, it did inspire me to take action. Look at you, little baby. Uh, <laughs> little baby. No, that's yeah. what, so now looking back, you, you see uh -huh. like all that skin was exposed, all oh, that yeah. sun wear and oh, yeah. tear, yeah. And then the bigger issue there isn't just that skin cancer is developed, it's that a lot of the times people can't afford skin cancer treatment or they might not have access to skin cancer yeah. treatment. So those are really big issues as well and that's what really inspired and motivated me to take action. I love it, making it a nonprofit. Oh my gosh. Well, Heyman's mama is Mulu and she's in the audience. What's up, Mulu? Hi. You have to be so proud. Are you just like so proud? I am extremely 
proud. Um, as you can see, at, at age 14, he owns the drive, he owns the passion, um, mm. just to make the world a better place. Um, he owns it. <laughs> I know, just imagine, he's 14, imagine where he's gonna be. In just a few years, oh my gosh! Well, we are rooting for you, and I can't Thank wait you. to have you back on Thank when you, you so got much. the product ready, at least so, you know to get, tell more people about it and actually get the nonprofit going, man. That'd be so Good good. Luck. Thank you so Congratulations. much. Congratulations! Keep working hard, man. I will.